Sara for the Medical Sales Channel. Why is it that ambitious, intelligent, and hardworking medical sales representatives don't close more business? They're making plenty of sales calls. They know their products, they know what they're supposed to do, but all that results from most of their sales calls is, I'll keep it in mind, uh, I'll think about it, or thanks, but I think I'll stay with my current product. What's the problem? Medical sales reps often overestimate their abilities. Don't get me wrong. Confidence is a beautiful thing. That is when it's based in competency and not in false assumptions. You see, medical sales reps know what they're supposed to do. Almost every one of them can describe an effective sales approach or sales process, but very few can execute it. Too often, salespeople confuse familiarity with competency. Let me give you an example. You go to sales training and the presenters do a brilliant job presenting data about the new product. And they've got great PowerPoints, beautiful, 27 colors, they're animated, features and benefits, competitive advantages, pricing strategies. You leave training excited to get out and sell the new product to your customers. But are you really prepared to do this? Most sales reps think they are because they are familiar with the content. But here's the reality. When I put them in a simulated sales situation after the type of training I just described, the vast majority cannot articulate what they've learned, at least not in a professional and competent manner. Competent execution requires preparation, planning, and the big key here, are you paying attention? This next word can make you successful. It could also make you lots of money. Practice. Practice actually doing it over and over until it's second nature, until you no longer stutter and stammer while trying to put your words together. Again, the word is practice. Not thinking about it, not running through the presentation in your head while you're driving to the sales call, actual practice with another person. Imagine you've never played golf in your life. Many people who play golf play like they've never played in their life, but I digress. Here's the scenario. You're going to play in a golf match next week where the prize is $1 million. But don't worry, we're going to send you to a golf academy where you'll learn about the different clubs. You'll be told how to hold them. You'll see some PowerPoint slides that will break down the golf swing. They'll show you videos. And when you leave training, you're going to know a lot about golf. And next week, you have the opportunity to earn $1 million. Let me ask you something. Wouldn't you like to swing each club a bunch of times before getting out on the course? Don't you want to hit some balls? Why? Because you want to see if you can do it. You don't want to risk making a fool of yourself and losing $1 million. You want a chance to practice. You would be a fool not to, right? Your medical sales efforts are no different. Are you expected to sell a million dollars or more worth of products this year? Whatever the number is, why would you go out on the course, in other words, your territory, and think you could beat the competition without ever swinging the club? In other words, practicing your selling skills. A familiarity with your products does not make you competent. Knowing what successful salespeople do does not make you competent. Success in medical sales isn't just about what you know. It's about your ability to execute day in and day out at a competent level. Before I go, let me share one more painful, sad reality. Many of you who just watched this video now believe you know the key to successful medical sales, and quite honestly, you do. But many of you still won't practice your skills. You won't get the right kind of training. You won't get coaching. You'll just waste this knowledge because you won't do it. If I just made you a little uncomfortable, that's good. The question is, what are you going to do with that discomfort? Will you ignore it, or will you do what it takes to become competent? When you're willing to do what your competition isn't willing to do, you will beat them. You've got to be better than your product. It's not what you know, it's what you do. If you want more information about how to be a successful medical sales professional performing at the top of your game, visit my website, 
www.medicalsalestraining.com. Thanks for stopping by for a dose of reality. Do something good with that discomfort. For the Medical Sales Channel, I'm Mace Hobbs.